I just got an email titled Meeting with PSU Institutional Review Board Chair. Oh, hold on, hold on. Put this on. You know the drill? Standing? Yep. Oh, you can take a seat later. I just got an email. Mm -hmm. Meeting with PSU Institutional Review Board Chair, Dr. Bogosian. As the Chair of PSU Institutional Review Board, IRB, I am requesting a meeting with you on Thursday, October 18th. The meeting is per the request of PSU's Vice President for Research and Graduate Studies. He has asked the IRB to communicate with you for the purpose of assessing if there are any protocols that were or should have been reviewed for your recent hoax studies. Please let me know your availability, Dr. Jack Barbera. I think that they will do everything and anything in their power to get me out. And I think that this is the first shot in that. Can you just describe what the IRB is for people that wouldn't understand what that so is? So the IRB is the Institutional Review Board. So if you want to do a study, you have to get IRB approval. And without approval, you can't do the study. So there are many types of... You know, if you do a, a study on animals, there's a special thing for that. If you do a study with human subjects, there's a special thing for that. What could they potentially get you on? Here? Ethics violation, professional misconduct. And what would that mean for your job? That's it. It's over. I mean, they have a range of things they can do, a range of sanctions and penalties they can, they can apply. Um, my guess is that you don't pull someone before the IRB to slap their wrists. It just doesn't happen. You get a meeting, really yeah, you get a meeting because they, it's a serious breach of ethics. That's the whole reason for the IRB. And there's a good reason for that. There's a, it's good that we've set up that system. But now they're including this under that umbrella. Yeah, that, they can't say that we needed IRB approval for the um, ones that we, that we published in journals because there weren't any real human subjects. So they will have to say that the IRB approval we needed was treating the reviewers as human subjects without passing that through an ethical board. Hopefully we can say that there yeah. wasn't any way to get yeah, informed consent for that. It just isn't a possibility with this kind of thing. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely not a possibility. We did an audit. Um, so if I were you, I would be really, you know, clear that it seems ridiculous that because you are actually a part of the scholarly enterprise, you can't do an audit of the scholarly enterprise. Like people inside the system aren't allowed to question the system. What kind of Orwellian stuff is that? What I really want is I'm going to talk to my union guy about this and I want to bring, I want the camera in the meeting. I want to argue for complete transparency during the whole process. No man, they'll never give you that. Yeah, but that's what I'm going to argue for. That's what I want. On um, this, uh, this becomes really, really bad for you personally and really interesting in terms of the next step with the project then, doesn't it? Because on the one hand, if they can try to pin an ethics violation on it, that'll give scholars reasons to pretend they can ignore our work, which obviously they can't do. Um, on the other hand, if they attempt to martyr you, they're going to get so much attention for you and for us but if they martyr me, if they martyr me, then I will definitely be out of a job. And these disciplines, the corruption will continue. But I'll still be out of a job. And I got a college tuition I got to pay for. Okay, well, listen, what you need to figure out is, as far as this goes, practically, is whether or not you actually need IRB approval to do something that's not actually uh, scholarship. We didn't try to publish this in a peer-reviewed journal. We didn't, I don't know what the rules with this are. How do we want to handle this now? We have currently access to tens of thousands of subscribers on the YouTube channel. I can put it up. That might affect the meeting that Pete's about to go into um, negatively. It, I, I think that we sit on this for a little while, we wait to see what happens, and then if they do something to Pete, we just tell the public and it's, it's a bad move in terms of their image. I think we should wait.